guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video i am going to be doing a story time um it's gonna be a story time about the time that i <laughs> that i got scammed over like eight hundred dollars i think out of like eight hundred dollars no it wasn't really eight it was like out of about no it was eight hundred dollars <laughs> so i got scammed out of about eight hundred dollars um as i'm going through the stories like the story time if i can find receipts then i would kind of put receipts i guess i thought of a little bit right here to kind of show you guys like the background and i guess the parts of the story that i can kind of like show but anyway so this story time we're gonna like just go ahead and jump into it so this was back when i was working at charlotte roost which um so this is around what year I think this is around eight, 2018, so about two years ago. And it was in November. It was like literally a few days for my birthday. And so this person on Instagram, they DM'd me and they was just like, hey, um, you know, do you want to make some quick money? You know, it's kind of like, you know, a legit way to make money. Well, it's a legit way for us to make money, but we're going to, they let me know up front, like, we're going to be scamming these people. But I mean, from any of the time, I always kind of like, stirred i stared away from these type of um dms because i was just like i ain't trusting it but it was a woman like it was a pretty woman like i was just like <laughs> bad bitches link up like you know like <laughs> we about to we about to do this so i was just like okay i'm gonna go with it so i was just like you know i started messaging her like okay what i gotta do da, 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 da. and she was just like okay basically we're gonna take a check we got somebody else's business account or whatever we take we got their checks we're going to write you a check. We're going to deposit it into your account. And once the money get in, basically, it made it seem like it was a pyramid scheme. Like, you get your cut from letting, the, from letting us use your bank account. And then you send whatever's left after your cut to the next person. To, well, basically to me. And then I disperse it. Just whatever. But that was basically how it went. So, I was just like, okay. Sounds up, sounds right. How much was we, you know, doing this for? And the check was for like eight hundred, like eight hundred and something dollars, basically. So a few, like I, I went home to my mom about it. She was like, "Well, you know, try it out, see what happens. You never know." Like, but I didn't really tell her details. So when I finally had told her, like, told her, told her details and stuff, I had done did it anyway. So I was just like, "I'm telling you to see what you want, to see what you would say." But I already did it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So when I was telling her, she was just like, nah, don't send them no money because I done been there, done that. And the check gonna bounce. You know, be like your mom and don't send the money. Wait about three days and see if it bounces. That way you're not losing any money. So I was just like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're, you know, I'm still talking to the person or whatever. Everything's cool. So when the check, it took three days for the check to actually drop into my account. It was pending for three days. So it was pending for like three days. So I'm just going to work, you know, happy. Remind you, this is Black Friday. My birthday was close to like, my birthday always falls around Black Friday and Thanksgiving. So I had to work Black Friday, like the days of Black Friday at my job, like long hours. I was never used to working over like four hours, which is also one of the reasons why I was more into kind of like doing this whole thing because me looking into it, I'm just like, shoot, like, why not make this extra about five, five, six hundred dollars, you know, doing this when I'm basically making like a hundred dollars every two weeks working here anyway. So anyway, that's that was one of the reasons why I also had did it. So I had they finally deposited into my account, like I said. And I wasn't gonna tell the person because like my mama told me I was going to wait before I do any before I make any moves with the money. So you guys I, when I see I woke up that morning to my phone being blown up. Like when I see that person, they was blowing my phone up. Like calling it back to back to back. I'm sorry, I can see out my window and I keep seeing things. But anyway, so they was blowing my phone up back to back to back to back to back to back. Sending me text messages, calling me, all that other stuff. So I wasn't answering at first. I was just like, I have nothing to say. Like, I done told you I'm waiting. Like, the, I'm like, the, the bank told me. I done called the bank. They told me I need to wait three days just to make sure, whatever, whatever. And 
they just kept calling, blowing me up, blowing me up. You made a deal with us. You said A, B, C, and D. Like, this this is under federal stuff. Like, this is real stuff out here. Like, we can really, we can get you hurt. Like, that was, like, going mad hard. Like, if you don't send us the money like you said, <laughs> we're going to send somebody at your doorstep. They literally said that. Because one thing I had forgot was the way, it, the way that they deposited the check into my account was through my mobile app. So I had gave them my information basically to deposit it. So they could look in my account to see my address and my stuff like that. So they were sending like screenshots and they was just like, don't worry about it. <laughs> when you hit them three knocks at your door, just know it's us, period. Like that's what it is, that's what it ain't. So once they sent me that, I was just like, Man, they about to go beat my sister and my mama up. They gonna go shoot the house up. Like, I started getting real paranoid, real scared. Because anyone who knows me, I am a water bucket. And I am scary. Like, I am real scary when I feel like someone's coming to, like, kill me and my family. <laughs> like, I'm not scary as in, like, somebody gonna bully me and push me around. I used to be that type of scary. I did. But... Like, I mean, scary as in, like, if someone's threatening my life or threatening my family's life, I get real scary. So, when they said that, they sent my address, I was just like, dang, they got me. Uh, like, <laughs> I gotta send it. So, I downloaded the little Wells Fargo, not Wells Fargo, but um, Western Union. I downloaded the little Western Union app. And the thing that also got me was it went from me sending, like, First it was, I'm going to get like $600 out of the $800 or something. Then it went to, I'm going to get half. Then when the morning that the check deposited, they told me I was only getting $50. And I was just like, see, yeah, I know this is it's a scam. But I was, like I said, I was scared. So, I sent the money. <laughs> I sent the money. I sent it to them. I said it to him like every day I kept checking my account because I already knew like, oh God, I'm about to be in the negative. I'm about to have no money every day. So it was, I think the day of Black Friday because I was working and I was at work, you know, and we had got specific break times. I went in that morning, like early, early that morning to work and I had a break around like 11, 12. But anyway, like I said, I went in early, early that morning, and I had got a break around like 11, 12. And so I had, and it was like a 30 minute break. I never had 30 minute break before. We always had like 15 minute breaks. So I had a 30 minute break. It was a 30 minute or an hour break. I don't remember. But so I went to give me something to eat. Then I changed my mind. I was like, let me stop by Forever 21 because the way the mall was set up, we was across from Forever 21. And then you had the food court after Forever 21. So I was like, let me just make a little pit stop going Forever 21. Then I would get something to eat. So went to Forever 21. I was trying to find me a little birthday outfit. So went and found me this cute little dress. It was like $20. Went and got me this cute little dress. And I wanted to get one of those little hats. It was like when that, that little trend first came out of wearing the little strap, the spaghetti strap dresses with the long sleeve like turtlenecks and then little boots because again my birthday's in november that's that season so that was like really it was really in at that time so i'm in line waiting all that time i remind you like i said my breakfast like between 30 to an hour so i'm in line trying to hear and speed through and when i finally get to the thing she's scanning up my items the total was like 25 30 dollars and i go to swipe my car <laughs> and it was like eh, eh. Denied, and I was just like, huh? Say what? And so I was like, hold up. I'm looking like, oh, don't play me because, baby, I'm not broke. I got money in my account. Don't play me. So I, I'm like, just give me give me a second, y'all. When I see my heart drop, because I already knew what it was, but I still wanted to check. Because maybe it was just, maybe something just happened with the car. So I, I'm i like, just go ahead and hand on somebody behind me. I'm about to check, some, check on my bank account real quick. So I opened up the app. <laughs> That thing said negative 400 and something dollars, which I had around 400 something dollars in my account already before they put that 800 dollars check in there. So when it bounced, because and remind you, I had to send them that money to be, I had to send them that money. So when the check bounced, it took all my little bit of coins and then put me in the negative by 400 something dollars. And I was just like, 
Can you put the dress back? <laughs> Do you need me to put it back? Sorry for the inconvenience, baby girl. I'm broke. I have no money. I thought I did. Yeah, when I see, I was so sad. Like, I was so sad. Like, I went back to work. And I was just, everybody was just like, what's, what's wrong with you? Like, when you left, you was fine. You ain't got no food. Like, what you got going on? And I was just like, man, y'all, I ain't got no money. Like, a bitch is broke. A bitch is hungry. Like, I can't be here no other. I think I was like, I think we was working like eight hour shifts. And I had to been there for four hours. I was like, I can't work no other four hours like this. Like, can I please go home? Like, please. Even though I should be here to make this money. Because <laughs> I need it. But can I please go home? Like, my birthday is tomorrow. I have no outfit. I have no money to do nothing. Like, I was sad. So, she was just like, yeah, you can go home. Because I wasn't going to be no good regardless. Like, if I was going to stay, you wouldn't get no work out of me. My little let me leave. So, she let me go home. I clocked out. And I went home. And on the way home, now remind you, because it is my birthday, I had a friend who went half on me for my birthday to get me no actually i think he bought either he went half or he ended up paying for the whole thing but he had got me a 50 henny for my birthday because that was my drink at that time like when i first my when i graduated high school till my junior year of college my drink of choice was hennessy it is not no more i cannot tolerate hennessy anymore but that's my drink of choice so he had got me that he had got that for me because remind you i wasn't 21 yet so i was just turning 20. so he had got that for me and I was on the way home like, man, I'm about to see why people drink when they say Like, I'm about to see what it do. Because I, I just couldn't tolerate being sober anymore because I was just so sad. Like, y'all, my account was literally negative 400 some dollars. Like, I... That was it. So, when I got to the apartment, and the crazy thing about it also was... I had just started getting serious about getting a savings account. So I had me a little lockbox that I used for my savings account. And the crazy thing was I had $400 in my savings account, in my little lockbox. So how much money I was negative to the bank account was how much money I literally had on me. So my mama gave me the advice of don't spend that money because that's all that you have. When you get money little by little bit, just put it back in there. But that's the money that you got to live off of. So, because of course, I wasn't home anyway. So, I just had to, that's how I had to survive. So, when I got to the apartment, I got the, um, the Hennessy. And I just started drinking. Like, I was just drinking, drinking, drinking. And y'all, when I say I got drunk, I got drunk. So, I got drunk, drunk. So, my friends finally came. They got me. And what ended up happening was in about a two week span, probably not even two weeks, probably like a week span, I was back in the positive and I, I had almost more money than what was before that happened. So in the end, everything was okay, but y'all, I was a sad case. I was a sad case. So word of word, I think it's word to the wise or word from the wise, I don't know, from the wise. Don't do this scamming stuff, y'all. It's all a scam. They're going to take your money. Don't do it. So anyway, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like more story times or things that, some crazy things that have happened to me, please comment down below and let me know that you enjoy this type of, con this type of content. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. This is Sand signing off. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe.